Yo guys, how's it going? So, you're probably thinking, who is this weirdo beside me? Um, <laughs> I think you should introduce yourself. Your name is? Kate. And of course I am? Ricky. And we're gonna do a video on first dates, do's and don'ts, and tips I really believe you should take in and listen to us from a girl's perspective and a boy's perspective. Soak it up. Okay, number one, I think this. If you're on a date for the first time, of course people try to impress, they try to talk themselves up, but I think that's a good thing. So I say this, talk yourself up and talk positively about what you love doing and what your career is, or what maybe your interests are. And if you can share that with her, the opposite sex, I think she'll really like it. That's what I think. I think that's a good tip. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Cause you're like, I don't know you. I don't know what oh. you're about. You know what I mean? And then if you're like, yo girl, this is what's up. Then I'll be like, yeah, all right, kind of yeah. into it. Okay, I've got a don't for you. Actually? But this is like more okay. for, for girls than, okay. so, than guys. But mine is don't overdo it on the makeup and the outfit because I have a tendency when I go on first dates to like be like a club version of myself and like do like crazy makeup when like really in real life like I wouldn't really wear that much makeup but I don't know for some reason when I'm going on first dates I'm like yeah fucking like tons of eyeliner <laughs> like bronzer up to here. <laughs> so, I do the same thing actually. Right? Yeah. I put on way too much bronzer. I need to <laughs> actually stop. <laughs> it's addicting. Like you get bronzer right? crazy. Yeah, it's not good. So I would say like try to look like yourself as much as you can. But kind of like you were saying like yeah. I like very finesse version of yourself. I like that. Yeah. Cool. Make sure you always, always tell the truth. Because could you imagine you're on a first date? So what do you do? Oh, I work in media, but what do you actually do? Oh, I like own a Lamborghini and I, uh, I am like, I make awesome films. So you've already told a white lie, right? So I say this, don't tell any white lies because if you get a chance to go on a second date, she will call you out on that and then it's a whole downward spiral. That's so really tell the truth on the first day. Okay, mine is, this is kind of like a weird one, get in the zone. So like for me, that'd be like working out and then I'm like, yeah, like pumped to take on anything. And I sound okay. like, I sound like a keener right now, but, and then I'm kind of like feeling good, you know, and then I feel like I'm like ready to go on that date. I think I would, before I would go out on a first date, I would play my favorite songs on my playlist and probably think I'm um, like Sam Smith or something, but I'm actually not and I can't <laughs> sing at all. But it probably sounds good in my head. I feel like you could sing. I feel like you've got uh, like It's it. not gonna happen. No, no okay. I tried it one time and everyone left the room. So. <laughs> it's not gonna happen again. You're okay with it. Though. I'm okay with yeah. that, yeah. All right, all right. It's so crucial, never, ever, ever, I'm emphasizing the ever here, right. ever talk about your ex relationships. I think it's so important that you don't do that. Of course, because if you lead with that, they're probably thinking you're clearly not over your ex, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just simple as that, guys. Don't put any context of your ex relationship. Cut that out. Don't even mention it. Just stop talking about this. Okay, my next tip is find a cool place to go. So I was telling Ricky that in Toronto we've got FNL at the ROM, which is like a party in a museum. And I went on a date there and it was the best date because it wasn't just like, well, let's just sit and talk. And now we have so much pressure to talk and we don't know what to do. Yeah. It was like, check out the dinosaur. Oh, this is cool or whatever. So it like gave you some kind of like talking points, which I really liked. That I touched upon before about, we did, about being interested and talking up about yourself. But to flip that around and it kind of coincides that point is don't talk negative about yourself. Yeah. So what I mean is that, say for example, like you, you're really depressed in life or you're not happy about your life and you bring that energy to your first day, she's gonna be like, oh my God, this guy is like a loser. Like, why am I hanging out with this guy? And I don't think it's really good for you to lead yourself with being someone that you don't have no ambition or no drive. So just make sure, even if you are having a bad day, even if it's your first day, you wanna impress and all that jazz, just make sure you don't, come in all depressed and slumped because that would be the most unattractive thing. I think so on, on, on a first date. Okay, my last tip is to dress comfortably. Cause the thing is, yeah. this with my, my other one about makeup, is that if I'm like wearing like a bunch of like six inch heels and I can't walk on them and then after 10 minutes I'm complaining about my feet hurting, you're yeah. like, this girl sucks. <laughs> yeah. So I said like dress comfortably and then you're up for anything. If you're like, yo, you wanna go to do the CN Tower walk or like any kind of extreme sports? I'm like, yep, no problem. I can, cause I'm not on six inch heels. But 
then I would be nice enough and carry you home. Oh, uh, that's, but you're a gentleman, so. I, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> my mom would know. Thank you so much for watching us. I am so happy that I had Kate on my channel. Thank you so much for being on my yeah, channel. Yeah, thanks for having me. Also guys, I just want to say, head over, head over to Style Collective, where you see our other video on tips on flirting. So we're gonna give you 10 tips on flirting. So guys, head over there. I'm gonna link them down below. Check them out. All right guys, I will see you in my next video. Have a great week. Take care. Peace from us. Peace.